Another thing that you're probably going to be doing when you create a TypeScript project is to create a node project. Uh, you use something like npm to initialize a node application. It's going to have its own package.json, and then from there, you're going to start your TypeScript application. So in order to do this, uh, I'm going to demonstrate creating a simple node project with a simple example TypeScript project. The way to initialize a node project is by using npm init. NPM init is going to create the package.json file that's required for the purposes of creating a, a node artifact. You can give it a name, you can give it a version, and then you can publish it to the NPM repository. So NPM init is going to walk through, it's going to ask a couple of questions about what the package name should be, what the version should be, who the author is, and all that stuff. And uh, you can type in the values. I'm just going to hit enter and accept the defaults. And now at the end, it's going to ask me if the value is okay. I hit enter, and now it has created this package.json file over here. All right, so this is the default package.json file. What you can notice here is there is this thing called main, which is the starting point for your application. So no matter how complex your application is, it's very likely going to have a limited set of starting points. Most of the time, it's just one. You have a single starting point to run your application, and that starting point is going to pull in a bunch of resources, a bunch of source code files from somewhere else. So the common convention is to have the root file, the starting point file, be index.js. What you can do with the TypeScript project is create the starting point file called index.ts, which then compiles over to index.js, which is what is going to be executed. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate that by creating this file called index.ts. And index.ts is going to import the person class from this thing over here. I'm going to call this uh, person.ts so that it's better named. And now here I'm going to take this out. The person.ts file is just going to export person. And uh, in my index.ts, I'm going to import person. I do that by using the import keyword, the name of the class from dot slash person. And now I have the person class definition. I'm going to create a new variable called foo, create a new instance of person, and uh, let's say foo dot last name equals just some random values over here and I'm going to do console.log of foo. Not very meaningful, but it's a good good enough pro program to demonstrate this. So now what I can do is I can compile TSC. I can just say TSC and I'm going to get a couple of files in the out directory. Uh, you can get rid of test. This is from an earlier compilation. I have index.js and person.js. Now what I can do is create this workflow where I can issue one command to both compile the project and to run index.js. Alright, so now what I can do is I can say node um, out slash index.js and I'm going to get the program executed. But I don't want to do this. I don't want to run this every time. And I don't want the people who are running the application to know that they need to run this command. The convention is to use something called start. All right. So you see here there is this node called scripts in the package.json file, which lets you run scripts through NPM. And one of the things you can do is create script targets. So let's say I create this target called start and I put in a command over here. What I can do now is, missing a comma, what I can do now is run the command npm start, and what npm is going to do is it's going to look at the start property in package.json, and whatever command you have over here, it's going to run that. All right, so if I run npm start, it's going to run the dash 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 command that I have over here, and it's going to give me an error, but this thing can be a valid command and npm start is going to run it. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run the TypeScript compiler. 
all right? And then I'm gonna do the and to indicate that there is a following command after this. This is a Linux way of chaining commands one after another. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say node and then uh, out slash index.js, all right? Now, let me clear the console. Rather than writing the TypeScript compiler command and then executing the resulting file, what I do is npm start. Guess what happens? It's gonna run the compiler and it's gonna generate the output and it's gonna execute that output, right? It's gonna execute the index.js. It's just one command which is gonna do everything, right? This is a way in which you can kind of make things consistent across projects, no matter what the project is, no matter what the compiler you're using and what the output file is. NPM start is a convention which lets you just start the application.